one grip. So today I'm going to show you with Ombom images from my last track there why and how I do it. Many people actually hold the throttle too hard, so really solid and then you know twist it like that and then back and then spend way too much energy doing it. This makes you tired, makes your arms, you know, gives you like uh, cramps or, or arm pump or whatever. And anyway, it's energy that you're using there that you don't need to and that you can't use then for other phases like braking hard and sharp or changing direction really sharp on, on the bike. So basically, I'm going to show you that onboard footage. Now I'm going to take a look on what I do exactly on the track. Now, this is coming out of the last corner in Donington and just watch the hand there opening up. So opening the hand completely relaxed super relaxed until I'm on the brakes then really sharp. Now if we look at it images by images so I'm coming out coming out the corner there the hand is not tight anywhere there and I'm just starting to roll the throttle a bit of hand control as well there because the bike is so powerful there's a bit of wheeling and I'm not full gas yet and then I'm getting to full gas there and then the hand is then completely relaxed I'm just holding it just with the, the, hand, the end of the fingers and I'm going to get on the brakes like really sharp then and uh, yeah even in slow mode that's quite sharp and uh, so bang spend the energy on you know getting on the brakes instead of holding that throttle solid uh, if we look at it this is on the 360 camera and play that real speed and there again you, know, you can see daylight near the throttle so this is in the back straight of Donington so actually there what I'm doing is I'm rolling off a bit there's like a there's a bit of a like a takeoff area especially with a fast bike like the uh, the JSX 1000 and I'm having to roll off a bit and then apply the power and then brake again so if you look at this there so I'm coming out of this copies it's called the corner rolling the hand you can see like you can clearly see daylight here and um, so I'm just rolling rolling that throttle again just like that and then I'm going to roll see it see there how, how relaxed it is and they're rolling it back for the by that takes off and then and then accelerating again before braking sharp again. So yeah, basically doing doing this action of relaxing your hand on the throttle and rolling it, it's got multiple advantages. You're not going to get as tired. You will be able to spend more energy in other phases, and also your wrist is not going to be bent. You don't want that wrist bent. You want that wrist uh, straight. I've actually made a video about this. Uh, it's called the wrist reload and it's in the description the link is in the description of this uh, this video is in the membership area of uh, my channel and it explains to you why you don't want your wrist bent like that the only situation where you want your wrist bent like that is for very very long straight so say boldo uh, circuit porrica 1.8 kilometers uh, straight long you roll the throttle open, relax your hand, your 100% throttle, and at that point you'll want to bend your wrist because it gives you a bit more, especially if you're tall like me and I've got long arms and long legs, you, you, this, this, this will give you a little bit more room to get your elbow in and get absolutely tucked in for the straight when you're not actually moving and you can rest actually in the straight instead of being you know, like that on the throttle, in the straight getting tired, you hold the throttle like this and you just rest in a straight. I'm telling you when you're doing that for 24 hours, makes an absolutely huge difference. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon guys.